It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beatsy. Let's see what this goofball did and what the friggin' hell is wrong with the world today. Famous chef Charles Withers allegedly ghosted a, his wife and babies. Guys, newborn babies. He's like, I'm out. New identity, another state, a scumbag. Matt Zabrowski, could you help a brother out? I'm trying to get the show started. I'm sorry? Oh, sure. <laughs> you know, you got a show when Matt Zabrowski comes by. What's that, Joanne? I'm sorry, Joanne, I have a hard time hearing you over the weed. Gosh almighty, Joanne. So, Charles Weathers, scumbag, piece of garbage, chef, ghost's wife, and babies to get a new identity, move to a new state, chef it out somewhere else. Let's hear about this goofball McGee. Look at the eyes, guys. Remember, we always talk about the eyes. Mm-hmm. The philandering chef cooked up a real mess for his former family. A Massachusetts woman whose reality TV chef husband allegedly abandoned her and their two kids reportedly managed to track down the deserter in a day thanks to the power of fake book. As it turned out, this scoundrel had decamped to Texas. He's trying to find Elon Musk, maybe. You no, know, no, I'm sorry, I don't, you know, I got my own children, 15, you know, you know, XY4963794. Right, 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 Elon. Uh, as it turned out, the scoundrel, he's in Texas, is, you know, he'd been matching with oodles of other women on dating apps. Guys, he's scumbagging it out, trying to make more babies on a dating app, you know? He's like, look, I'm going to spread the seed. That is what my father told me to do as a Withers, you know, Bill Withers. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine in here, right? You guys know <laughs> Withers, Bill, Bill Withers told him to do it. Anyway, guys, let's read a little bit more before we get into this song. I'm really excited about this song. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pumped about it. You haven't, you have no idea what you're getting except for Ascoop. Virginia, Wolf, who were here that night, and Helen, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody's with us yet, but we're going to run back and see. Trish Killian was here that night. Um, Renee Woods was likely here that night, but I'll tell you what, guys. It's a beaut. Last night, wrote another ridiculous song. You want to hear it real quick? That was fire. You could see right through me. You could see right through me. You could see right through me. Woo! And I'm gonna raise the volume of that too when I when I rock that piece out for you. Cause I'm downloading that right now, actually. Literally, hold on a second. <laughs> Let's do it together. Where's the show from yesterday? Because it was just ridiculous. We're going to go over here and grab it. Or did I already do it? Let's just see. No, I don't think I did yet. Yesterday's show. And this was funny this morning. The knuckleball. Actually, it was 14 minutes. That wasn't the one. This is it. Powerful yet mellow new original song. You can see right through me. Here is the link. I'll give it to you guys as well because the whole show was pretty ridiculous. Um... Let's do this, 4K in it. This right here is an app that I use. I'm not sure if you could see this, but no, you're not seeing it. Um, but I have this app here that will download all of my YouTube ch- you know, videos, everything I put out, um, so I could drop them on Spotify, which if you haven't yet followed me on Spotify podcasts, please do so. Mark Inspires, I've been dropping like crazy there. Hilly, Billy, hey buddy, before you go to sleep, pal, I want to play you this song, this is a good one to fall asleep to, my friend. Um, thank you, Hilly. You're awesome. Really appreciate you. 
this song that I'm going to play for you, uh, now that we have this downloading, um, I'll go back over here for a split second and just see if we could find, finish, finish up with what happened here. This guy basically left his wife, okay? He decided to go bang it out with all these other people on dating apps in Texas. He's there, scumbagging it. You know, he's trying to get a six-shooter, go out to the bar, pick up a couple beers and a hussy, you know, and see what, what happens. Maybe he can make another baby or two to leave behind, move to Albuquerque, bang it out again, different set of apps, different ladies. He puts on a goatee. He's still chefing it. You know, he finds the local hot spot and he says, look, I have a Michelin, you know, and they go with him. They, he's in there again. Albuquerque bangs him out, does it, moves on to Seattle. He has a problem there because he can't tell what's, you know, he, th he thinks something's something and it's not, you know, but they feel like they are and then all of a sudden he's got an issue. So he leaves Seattle without a bangaroo, you know, or a couple that he did, he just kind of doesn't talk about because he got it wrong, you know. Um, and then basically they found him. They found him, look, this is his wife, pretty lady. This is his daughter, sweetie pie. He's got babies. There's them, hospital, little baby on the chest. I'm out. He just took the mask off. You know, he didn't follow regulations. <laughs> you know, he told you to put it on six feet in it. You're not six feet from that baby. You know, I mean, when you're here and you're reporting the news and you just see them clearly violating the regulations by Dr. Weasel Faraji. Guys, remember, a bug a booster a day keeps Dr. Weasel Faraji away. <laughs> if you'd like to buy the shirt, you know? Um, anyway, so here we go. Back to it real quick. Uh, before flying the coop, Withers had reportedly been a rising star on the Falmouth dining scene. Now he's killing it down there in, in Tejas. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. Right? He's down there. He's got the accent and everything. Guys here to do a little cooking at the, at the uh, pig roast. You know? I'm a Michelin star chef from uh, Boston. Move on down here, got this accent, you know, down doing it. Got my six shooter. And he's, get, he's trying to just bang it out on some dating apps. So basically he's, uh, you know, he's been, he appeared in some reality TV shows, Chopped. You may have heard of that one. McGuire said ultimately she wanted to close the chapter and move on with her life, writing, divorcing someone who's completely unreachable is really tough and drawn out. So I'm trying to track him down to get his signatures on a few pieces of paper. Like, I have no idea where this friggin' scumbag went. I got kids. He, we were there. He was, he was like, I'll be back. Going to get milk. He did one of those. Took off in the Tercel. Driving cross-country in his Toyota Tercel. You know, when Bill Withers had this child out of wedlock, what did you expect for, for his bastard child? <laughs> you know, bastard child decides to go and do a Bill Withers. Ain't no sunshine with she calling. He's like, yeah, she ain't coming for you now. You left her in the dirt. Little kid, you're down in Texas looking for a bangaroo with some hussy at the local, you know, five and dime. Picking up a six pack, you know, a Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> we, we know what you're into there. Oh, goodness. Sometimes you make a new pick, a walnut pick. You know, this, this piece of wood right here, <clears throat> just a little side story for you. This little piece of wood right here, it's off of a slab of walnut that I freaking cut with an Alaskan chainsaw mill last summer. Yeah. They say, let it, let it dry for two years. Well, I let it dry for a year. That freaking is ready to go. I've been making stuff. I got picks. I got cutting boards. We're building out beat seats. I'm going to build a table for my, for what I broadcast on. This is a crap table that I don't know where the hell I got it, but it's got like the keyboard thing pops out. I'm building the keyboard thing. I'm building the shelves that I got up here. It's all going to be out of walnut, all crafted by Mark Has Wood on YouTube. Check it out. And you can also, you know, possibly uh, pick up a piece that I create live on the show when we do it. Uh, but anyway, I'm building out tables. I can't wait. We're starting that like next week. I just have to figure out how to plane like 30 four inches by six feet. I cut these freaking huge pieces of slab, man. Oh, goodness. You know, when you're out there with the chainsaw.
It looks a lot easier than it is. It's freaking hard work. I gotta tell you, it's like six hours I got a log done. But I got a log of walnut downstairs, and I'll tell you what. Right? I'm here with this guy. Magoo. This is this the daughter? That looks like OAC or whatever the hell her name is. There they are. <sighs> the happy couple. What? Oh sh that's right, he's a dick when he took off. Left her left her back in Massachusetts while he put on his best southern accent. Head on down to Texas! Looking for that hooker, you know? Look, he's into prozies. Apparently he's a Brit. He's going down, he's like, excuse me, do you have any prozies down here in Texas? Uh, yes, I just left my wife and kids. <laughs> she doesn't need me, I'm a Michelin chef, you know. I gotta bang it out here in Texas, right? Look at him, you know he has that stupid type of voice. He's a, he kind of has, yeah, oh, his teeth are showing when he freaking speaks, you know. Oh, could I get you some more parsley? You want freaking parsley yet? Gosh almighty, I hate a chef that leads with parsley. You know, when I go to see a Michelin chef, <laughs> you expect more than, would you like some more parsley? No, I'd like some Grey Poupon, mother fucker, you know? Because I'm here and I got a hot dog. I don't even know what the hell. You're, you're a Michelin chef down here in Texas at the hot dog shop, you know? Oh, how'd you do on that chili, Michelin? Oh, that, that chili's really good when you put the onions in there. <laughs> Thank God you spent all that time at those high-end restaurants in Massachusetts and then left your wife and kid because you're really a good guy, you know? God's watching. God's watching, you know, Withers. But again... Bill Withers banged out somebody on the road. This guy was born, you know, and now Withers is doing it his own way. Oh, you know, you got to figure it would have been pretty cool if Bill, Bill Withers sang the song, you can go your own way. And you're like, yes, he is. He went away from his wife and child, baby. Y'all got to go get some 2%. You're going to get, where the hell did he go? Where did Withers go? Like 18 days later, he's in Texas banging it out with a prosy. You know? Look, I mean, that's the life he's living. Anyway, guys, who wants to hear my new song? <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, sometimes. Sometimes you get into it, and sometimes you just have to roast the friggin' hell out of a scumbag piece of garbage leaves his wife and child, you know, in Massachusetts, to go and bang it out with somebody else, a couple ladies, after drinking it out at the saloon. You know, he's got a six-shooter. Remember, he went down there. He just wanted to be in a place he could walk around with that six-shooter just on the side. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got my six-shooter. Would you like some parsley? You motherfucker with the parsley again. You don't lead with parsley, Michelin chef. How about you show up and you say you've got a fantastic bisque de chalabon that I'm going to bring by the table. When they, br when they lead with the bisque de chalabon, then you know you're in a, a good restaurant. In Texas or in Massachusetts. <laughs> they start with the bisque de chalalon. Oh, goodness, you know. I haven't had a good bisque de chalalon in a while, but uh, when I do. I do it in style. <laughs> you know? Guys, anyway, this is the stupid show that we do on a daily basis. Nice head, dick, you know? When you decide to, you know, sideshow Bob it right in the middle of the show, you're just like, I just don't give a fuck anymore. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna. Which one's best? <laughs> Please hit the like on the way out the door, leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.